In this video, let us see how to configure your project where Flask as a backend and React as a frontend. We will get the data from the Flask and display it with React. So you can see that this is the folder where it, it will contain all the data for the Flask as well as the data for the React. Let's get started. Let's open up the terminal in this folder. If you are using the VS Code, you can use the terminal provided by that. I'm going to create a folder, make the AR backend. This will contain the files for the Flask server. As you can see, a folder has been created backend. Let's cd into that folder. Here we're gonna create a file server.py. This will contain the Flask server. Let's open up the VS Code. You can see that we have created the server.py. Next, let's open up a new tab. We're gonna create a app, React app. To create the React app, we're gonna use the npx create React app. And the project name will be the frontend. As you can see, if the React app is installing, just give you a few minutes, this will take some time. As you can see, now the React app has been installed successfully. Let's see the into the frontend. Let's start the React app now. npm start. You can see that the React app has been started successfully. First, we will use edit the server.py file. We will set up the server.py file. Let's open up the file. We're gonna set up the Flask server. From Flask, we're gonna input the Flask class. After that, let's define app, app equal to call the Flask class inside that provide the name. Now let's define the route now, app.route. The route name will be the channels. Let's also define a function channel. This will just retain a JSON object. Return, we're gonna return the channels JSON. So channels that will contain a list of values, channel one, channel two, and channel three. You can see the simple channels route will just return a JSON, JSON data. If underscore underscore name equal to main, we're gonna run the app. App dot run. Let's also change the debug equal to true since we are running in the development mode. So this is our Flask server. Let's run this file now. Let me go to this terminal python server.py As you can see the Flask server started successfully. Let me open up the server. Let's go to the channels API. You can see that it successfully returns the JSON file channel 1, channel 2 and channel 3. Now we have configured the Flask server. Let's open the frontend and open the src file. Let's delete the files that we don't need. We're gonna delete the logo.svg. We also delete the index.css. And finally app.test.javascript file. Now open the index.js file and remove this line. Import index.css and also open the app.css and let's clear all of that. I'm gonna define the boiler template. So this is our sample boiler template. Let's save that file. Open up the terminal. As you can see, it's compiled successfully. Let's open the local server. You can see that it successfully defined the app. Let me minimize that. After that, we need to provide a proxy in the package on JSON file. Open that and type proxy. Here we need to type the, we need to define the server that is Flask running on. HTTP, local force, and the port that Flask is running on. The port number is Flask running on is the 5000. Let's define that here. So now we have set the proxy in the JSON package or JSON file. Let's close that file now. Now we need to work on the app.js file. Let's import the libraries we need. We're gonna import the use state and we'll also import the use effect. We will use the use state to get the data from the backend and set the data to the variable and display it. We're gonna use effect to fetch the data using the fetch function. Let's Import those. Now let's define the state variable cost. 
This will contain two variables, data and set data, and call the use effect, and give the initial value as empty array. We're gonna use the set data function to define the data once we get the data from the backend API. Also use the use effect. We're gonna use the arrow function here to fetch the data from the backend flask. We're gonna use the fetch function. And the route is the channels route. Let me copy that route and paste that here. Then we're gonna use the then function. If we get any response, response equal to we're gonna convert the response to a JSON object. Response dot JSON. After we get the response in JSON format, we're gonna get the data inside the JSON for that use another then that inside this data equal to we're gonna open up a curly brace we're gonna use all the set data function and pass the data this will obtain the data state variable let's also console the data so let's save that file let's also Define an empty array here because we're gonna use this use effect only once when the component is loaded. So that's why we have defined an empty array here. So this is our channels and this is our use effect. We will get the route from the backend using the fetch and we will convert the response into one JSON object. After we get the data, we're gonna set the data using the set data function. Let's open up the browser. You can see that in the define app only we don't see anything for to see the console for uh, data right click and open the inspect and select the console you can see that we get the object let's open that here we have the channel 1 channel 2 and channel 3 if you get any error like proxy error you just have to stop the server and restart the react server this will fix the error for you as you can see let's open up the inspect and see the console now We have the data here, channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3. So let's actually return those data to the front end as well. So for that, so I have write this code to display the data to the front end. First, we check the cha data that channel is undefined. If that is undefined, we will display loading. If it is not, then we're gonna use the map function to display the individual channel from the JSON object. So now let's open up the browser and refresh. You can see that. The data has been successfully displayed to the React app. Let's open up the server and modify something. Let's add a new channel now. Channel 4. Let's save this Flask server and refresh the Flask server now. As you can see, channel 4 is displayed. Let's also re update the React app. You can see that the channel 4 is updated to the React as well. So this is how you set up your project with Flask as a backend and React as a frontend. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.